Hi, and welcome to a quick Maya Q&A, the videos where I answer your questions about Maya, ranging from anything simple to the deep, dark mysteries of the software. Dosh Doctor asks, what's the process of duplicating a fully rigged character? For example, making two or three Kalers from the video riding the skateboards. The way that I would recommend opening any number of character rigs in Maya is by starting out with a new Maya scene and creating a reference by going into File, Create Reference. I'll navigate to find my Kayla rig file and then reference it into the scene. I can animate, but I'm going to save a little bit of time and just create a quick pose with her. And then I can create another instance of Kayla going again into File and Create Reference. So now I end up with two Kayla rigs inside of my scene. Here I can change the settings of Kayla to increase her age and give her another pose. And you can go crazy adding as many more references as you want into your scene. Now I can also manage the references by going into File, Reference Editor. Here I've made a few more copies of the same Kayla rig file and I can load them by checking their little tick boxes. So now I end up with five clones of Kayla and you can add other Maya files holding background elements and this can really help you organize and populate your scenes. Add more references by pushing this button and if you want to remove any, you can push this little button with the minus sign. Now I'll just give you one reason to why you should also work with references and a little guide of what's happening under the hood. We have the rig file, which is its own thing, and we're using another Maya scene file, almost like a container. By using references, we're calling instances of that rig into this scene file. References are a great way of organizing your 3D resources. In this case, I've added five references to the same file. Now my Kayla rig is 114 megabytes in size. And if I'd imported the rig five times, then I'd end up with a scene that's 570 megabytes large. However, since I'm using reference instead, the final scene file is only 437 kilobits large. And yes, that is kilobits with a K. This file with all the clones can be saved under one megabyte in size. And this is because the scene file only contains the changes that I made to the poses for Kayla and some lights. All the rest of the 3D data is still coming from the rig file. Now be careful because even though you're saving space on your hard drive, you're still using up RAM. So if you load a thousand references of Kayla into your Maya scene, your computer will probably run out of memory and crash. Using references also has the drawback that you can't change some parts to Kayla's rig, like blend shapes. You'd have to go back into the rig file. However, there are plenty of changes that you can make inside your scene file, like adding new shaders. Lastly also, if you have a computer that's like mine, which is clearly showing its age and you want to improve the performance of your 3D scenes while animating, you can untick the references that you're not working with to unload them from the scene and you can take out the background environment and any other characters that you're not using and just focus on animating one or two characters at a time. And this will really give a great boost of performance to your system. I hope that was useful and if you want to ask a question for next week then you can feel free to drop me a line in the comment section below or you can also find me in the community tab as well. Also all the usual YouTube jazz, if you found the video helpful then give us a thumbs up, you can subscribe to the channel and you can also hit the bell button to receive notifications of when I'm releasing my latest videos. Thank you for watching, keep those questions coming and as always keep learning, stay strong and I'll catch you in the next video, bye bye.